Welcome to the Limo Anywhere video on per passenger rates and setting up per passenger rates. Per passenger rates are set up under each vehicle type. Each vehicle type will have its own passenger rate. To get the vehicle types, you go to My Office, Company Resources, Vehicle Types, select the vehicle type that you want to edit, go to the Rates tab, and the per passenger rates. First, you will select the rate matrix that you want to edit. In this case, I'm going to edit the default. You're going to put in your standard rate for the passenger. Minimum number of passengers. In this case, I'm going to leave it at one. And then associate it with your multiplier rate that you want to add this into. In this case I have it set to per pass. You can also set up a peak rate. Set the minimum number of passengers for that peak rate and also associate that with a multiplier rate. I'm going to do the same one per pass. You will set up a peak rate schedule if you are using peak rates. Just check mark it. If it's the whole day, leave these blank. If it's a certain time of that day, check mark it and put in those times. So for instance, this one, Friday from 6 p.m. to midnight, I am going to charge that peak rate. You can also use what we call the sliding scale. So that's here in the middle. So from zero to one passenger, I'm going to charge 50 because that's my standard for one passenger. From 1.1 to 2, I am going to charge a little bit less. You want to do 1.1 instead of 1 here so it doesn't confuse. Obviously, you're not going to have a 1.1 passenger. Um, but just so the system doesn't get confused and it knows which one to apply, we usually recommend doing the 1.1 to 2. Now this is the rate per passenger. So if it was one passenger, it's going to be $50, 1 times 50. If there were two passengers, it's going to be $90, 2 times 45. If it was three passengers, it's going to be $120, 3 times 40, and so on. Now you can edit these, delete these if you need to, add any more. This is just an example I'm setting up to show you. I'm going to update that, and now that is set. Now you can add separate matrices for per passenger. Do that by clicking add new rate matrix, enter the rate name and create that matrix. I already have another matrix set up, corporate matrix. I'm going to select that and you'll see the rates are different. So if you do have different rates that you want to apply to a customer or a specific service type, you can create a separate rate matrix. So for the corporate, I'm going to make the standard rate 45, minimum 1. I'm going to take off the peak rates because I don't use that for my corporate. So if there's nothing selected here, obviously the peak rate's not going to apply. You can set up a sliding scale as well. So now you'll see that if I select the default rate matrix, that is set up, and then the corporate has the different rate. Now, if you want to apply a rate matrix to a certain account, so for instance, this corporate, which is not my default rate matrix, I can apply that to an account so they get those rates. 
So if I go to accounts and edit an account, go to the financial data tab, it's going to be under the hourly rate matrix. So this one is already set. Another thing that you could do is set it for specific service types. So to do that, you go under My Office Online Reservation System. If you do have the ORES 4.0, you can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my tour, change this to a passenger pricing type. And then here, under the matrix column, you can click on this and select that passenger matrix. So I could create a separate matrix called tour with different pricing than my default if I wanted to. Now to apply a passenger rate on a reservation, you want to make sure you go to company preferences, reservations. You have this setting auto populate number of passengers into rate multiplier. You're going to select what that is mapped to. So in this instance, I'm going to obviously set it to per pass because that's what I have it mapped to under my vehicle types. You're also going to select what service types this applies to. In this instance, I'm just going to select tour. Make sure to update that. So if I was going to apply that to a reservation, if I select tour, the vehicle type, put in two number of passengers, apply the rate under hourly. See that PAX rate there? Apply that, so it's two times 45, 90, and that is my per passenger rate. This concludes the per passenger rate video. Thank you very much.